Hi right, guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, as you can tell by the title, uh, this is my Christmas art book gift guide. Now, it's that time of year again, coming up to Christmas, and we're all kind of like running around trying to uh, get the perfect gift for the loved ones in our life, or, or rather than allowing the loved ones in your life to just buy you anything that you'll probably never use or never wear or anything like that. You can drop some hints to them um, from these lists, give them an idea of the type of gifts that you would really love, or um, just buy them for yourself. I mean, if you can't indulge yourself over Christmas, then when can you? Anyway, I've been doing these lists now for about four or five years, I think. Uh, they seem they've they've gone down well every year I've done them, and um, I they also appear in uh, Color Magazine. So if you subscribe to Color Magazine, you will also get uh, a, like a written version of these Christmas gift ideas. Now this this year, what I've done is I've done five different lists, uh, and each list is tailored to a specific group uh, of artists and some of them are just you know tailored specifically to anybody so the list that i've done this year is obviously this one which is the uh, art books now all of the art books in this list i have read i've purchased over the five years or so that i've been drawing and these books have helped me immensely and they still do i still reference them i still use them um now and again when i'm stuck on something or i'm just looking for uh inspiration or a new kind of like technique or whatever the other list is the luxury list which i always put up um this is filled with, with items that you do not need but you would like uh some beautiful gifts um, they are a little bit costly, but like I say, you only really indulge yourself round about Christmas time. Uh, these are not items that you would ordinarily buy just during the year. So uh, I've added that list. The next list is the artist Christmas gift list. Now this is uh, a list of products that are perfect for artists who are doing, um, who are selling their artwork or putting it in the galleries or anything like that. All the products in this list are w like fully light fast tested and they're fully light fast tested by the ASTM or Blue Wool standards. It, none of them are in-house uh, products that have been uh, in-house light fast tested. But all, all the products in this list are ASTM or Blue Wool. The next one is um, the perfect, the perfect Christmas gift for a, the artist enthusiast. So basically what that is, is high quality, uh, it's a list of high quality art products that are not necessarily light fast tested or anything like that. Some of them are in-house light fast, but basically the list is there for artists that don't want to spend a huge amount of money, but they still want to get a good quality uh, product that's going to help them produce beautiful artwork uh, and then we have the Christmas stock and filler so this is just uh, really inexpensive gifts but it they're not tat they're they're desirable products that artists would love to get their hands on and so you know a lot of the time I know as a parent we get these little bits of tat just to stick into the the, the stocking just to fill it up a little bit um, but with this list and the and the items that are in the uh, the uh, stocking list you know they're going to cost the same amount as the tat that we would normally buy for the stockings but if you're giving it to an artist they're going to love some of the products that are in here so so that's it let's get on now with this list and like I say this list is the the uh, art book gift guide for christmas 2000 or sorry yeah 2021 so the first book is by alan willett alan willett is an absolutely outstanding uh color pencil artist and graphite artist now this book is drawing birds using graphite and color pencil by alan willett and the the beauty about this book is it's all it's obviously all about birds that's alan's main focus uh what he when he's doing 
drawings and stuff like that. But he does drawings of other things like uh, pet portraitures, dogs, things like that. And they the, the, the work that Alan does in that area is just as equally as beautiful as the the birds that he draws. But the, the although this book's centered around birds, it still shows you and teaches you a lot of different techniques and tips and what have you that you can transfer into your own genre of art. So don't think that you're just gonna if you get this book, you're only gonna be able to draw birds. That's not the case at all. There's just a lot of different things going on inside the book that will help you and help refine the skills that you already have. The next book is a Colour Pencil Painting Bible by Aliona Nicholson. Now, I know Aliona Nicholson. She is um, a wonderful person. She's also the, uh, the lady behind the Brush and Pencil Kit. That's the one with the um, where you can blend color pencils with powder. Um, I'll have I'll I have a link over on the written review f- for her website, so you can go across and take a look there. But um, this book was one of the first books I ever bought, and this book really is it teach it tells you everything you need to know when you're getting started in colored pencils. Uh, t- tells you about the, the different type of pencils that are out in the market. Uh, the when you're buying erasers and stuff like that, it's not just for lifting mistakes away. It's for you know you creating. You can use them for creating highlights and things like that. So this book really delves into lots of different tips and techniques. Shows you uh, all things about layering and, and basically sets you on the right path to creating beautiful artwork next up is a book for pastel lovers so this is pastel pastels for absolute beginners by rebecca de mon mendona mendonka mendonka okay so I, i'm sorry rebecca i've spoke to rebecca before i've, I've actually done uh, an in-depth review of this book on my website uh this is a fantastic book for people just thinking about getting into pastels Shows you all the different types of pastels that are out on the market. Also explains the difference between, say, like palm pastels, uh, block pastels, and then pencil pastels. So it goes into all of the the differences between those, uh, what you might want to use them for. Uh, It shows you blending techniques that you can use for pastels without creating that that muddy dirty look if you just whack in a load of colours. Rebecca does a fantastic job in this book at highlighting this absolutely amazing medium um pastel i think can be a little bit tricky but when you are learning from people like rebecca and other fantastic pastel artists on the internet uh, it can definitely make the the whole transition a lot easier when i was doing color pencils obviously i branched out a little bit into pastels and watercolor and that tends to be the case with a lot of artists you see the work that these people are doing you admire it and then you think to yourself i want to try that myself and like i say this book here pastels for absolute beginners uh, by rebecca de mendon mendonka is fantastic and I am dyslexic, so when I'm reading things, it's really difficult for me to create the sounds and get the sounds. So I really apologize. I know some people get really uh, annoyed if I don't pronounce words right, uh, and I do apologize. I know, I know it can be frustrating. Okay, so this book here is um, a complete guide to drawing horses in color pencils by Cynthia Knox. Now I know Cynthia Knox. Cynthia Knox is my personal favorite uh, color pencil artist she is amazing now the pencils she uses in all of her work is prismacolor so i get a lot of people asking me are prismacolor good enough to do fine art work and anytime they ask me that i point them directly to cynthia knox and her website and all the work she's done uh, and that will answer any questions about the ability for prismacolor to create beautiful artwork Again, this is a little bit like Alan's book in that although this book is centered around horses, you know, making sure that you get the head shape right and all the rest of it and then the um, 
the rains and things like that. Although, although it's that's what it's about, there are a lot of different things, elements of this book that you can pick up and transfer into other uh, genres of art. So you still learn a lot from these books. I purchased this book because I was doing a review of a set of pencils and I seen this uh, image of a just a, a horse, uh, the, the head and the neck. Uh, I wanted to do it and so I got Cynthia's book and... Uh, was able to do a pretty good job actually of the the horse that I ended up drawing. Like I say, Cynthia Knox is an absolute amazing colour pencil artist and I find it absolutely bizarre that Cynthia and I are friends. You know, I'm privileged to be able to call Cynthia Knox uh, my friend. Okay, so next up again from another absolutely wonderful uh, artist, another wonderful person in general. This is Cindy Wider and her book is 12 Coloured Pencil Techniques. Now, Cindy is just one of the nicest people you will ever meet. She's an Australian. She was over here in the UK a while ago. Uh, she was an ambassador for Derwent. Uh, I think her and her husband went back over to Australia and that's where they reside now. Now, Cindy is the uh, the artist behind the Cuddle Cats um, artwork and if you haven't seen that I'll again I'll have a link over on my written review to Cindy's website where you can go across and take a little look but Cindy's artwork is fantastic and the work that she does on her website for people who want to jump in to like tutorial classes and learn how to do things like the cuddle cat characters uh, is just the, the, the website's amazing um, but this book is it's not a very big book or anything like that, but it's very, very straightforward. It just jumps straight in to, there's no messing about, it It just jumps straight into the different tips and techniques that Cindy has learned uh, along the line uh, and displays it in very simple, easy terms in this book. So this is another excellent book to get for, um, not necessarily beginners, uh, but, you know, Definitely for beginners, but I would also say that this book is um, is good for people like myself who've been drawing uh, with colour pencils for quite some time now. And like I said, I still refer to these books uh, even today. This was uh, Cindy's book, this one here, uh, 12 Colour Pencil Techniques, was one of the first books I actually uh, reviewed on the Art Gear Guide, or as it was called back then, Colour Pencil Reviews. Next one is Jeff Kersey's pocket book. This uh, Jeff Kersey is a watercolor artist. He is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, he has a website where you can go across and you can join up, and uh, he does classes. I think it's every every couple of weeks or every month. The artwork that this man does with watercolors is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, so I bought this book uh, not that long ago, actually, and um, it's just the the different tips and techniques that he's able to give you for like blurry mountains in the background making sure that you don't uh, your your watercolor doesn't cauliflower and stuff like that and so many other amazing ideas i mean like even the artwork on the front cover of the book is just mind blowing but this book by Jeff Kersey is a, an excellent way to use and understand watercolours. Next up is uh, Draw Portraits in Coloured Pencils. And it's published by uh, under the Anne Kohlberg name. But this book is um, a collection of 29 different uh, artists. Now the good thing about this is, right, there's no right or wrong way to do anything. So if you want to want to learn how to draw a portraiture, right, there's if you watch a certain artist do a portraiture and they turn that that into a tutorial, there's no right or wrong way to do a portraiture. Every single artist has their own different ways, unique ways that they that works for them, that works for the way they hold the pencil, whether it's heavy or light-handed, 
uh, the paper that they use. Lots of different uh, elements that come into play whenever it comes to an artist do a portraiture. And so this book highlights that. And what you can do is when you're reading through it and you're looking at the different portraitures and how they've turned out and what have you, you can look at the different tips and techniques that are being taught to you in this book and pick out ones that you think are um, applicable to the, your style of art. Uh, and uh, it's it's a really good book for for that, just showing you the, the different abilities within different artists to create these beautiful portraitures. Okay, this one's another uh, in, um, pastel book, as you can see. This one here is the Encyclopedia of Pastel Techniques. Um, I bought this, uh, sorry, this book is by uh, Judy Martin. Now, I bought this book a while ago. Um, I think it's, I would say that this one is a little bit like uh, the Colour Pencil Painting Bible because this, this book kind of starts out, so you come in as an absolute beginner, shows you all the different types of pastels there are, what you can do, what you can achieve with each pastel, and um, further on into the book, then you know you start talking about tips and techniques and all the different things that you can do with pastel pencils. You, the, you don't have to just always use the the block pastels. You can create an entire piece with just pastel pencils. So it's a really good book, really interesting, and uh, goes through an entire gamut of different things related to pastels. Uh, and the pastel medium in general. Okay, this is another Cynthia Knox book. I was uh, um, fortunate enough that uh, the publishing agent for Cynthia Knox um, sent me this book to review quite a while ago, uh, and I was over the moon with it. But when I took a, a look at the book and looked inside at the details, the the one of the one of the things that astounds me about Cynthia Knox is not only is she an absolutely outstanding artist, but she has um, a fantastic ability to teach. When she uh, is doing writing books and laying out methods and guides to create the same type of work that you can see on the front cover here, it's actually really phenomenal to see that process or to in my case when I got the book in order to be able to review the book properly I you know followed a lot of the um uh what do you call them examples a lot a lot of the 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 exercises that were in there to do uh, I followed a lot of them the way they were laid out and you know the results that I was getting are were were Results I just wasn't expecting. Um, but this is another fantastic book. Goes into things like um, surfaces, like wooden surfaces, textures and things like that. So it's an excellent book. Uh, this one here is obviously coming away more from the animals. Because a lot of the books that we've looked at so far have been animal based. This one uh, is another book by Aliona Nicholson. Again, I was very, very honoured and privileged to have this book sent to me when it first came out to read through it, look at it, study it, find out. Now, this this book, I wouldn't put this book down or give this book to beginners. This book is a little bit... I'm not saying a beginner couldn't pick it up and read it and understand it and go on to do a portraiture. I'm not saying that at all. But I just think that... Uh, this book is better suited to somebody that understands the medium quite well, is quite comfortable with the paper that they've selected, they understand um, all the different nuances that that go with being a colour pencil artist. Um, there's some very technical bits inside the book. Overall, it is an excellent, an absolutely excellent book at laying out how to do a portraiture, getting skin tones. Uh, I think that's one, for me personally, when I'm doing portraitures or anything like that, it's the, the getting the skin tone right, I find difficult. Uh, when I started reading this book here from Aliona Nicholson, it was, it started putting thing, a lot of things into perspective. And then this is where things like colour theory come into play, which is, colour theory is incredibly boring, but it's quite important as well. 
And that's it, guys. That's my list of uh, artists' books for Christmas. Uh, any one of these books would be absolutely um, appreciated as a gift for uh, any artist on Christmas Christmas morning or for yourself. But I highly recommend any one of these books. Uh, I've learnt so much from them. Uh, and like I say, I still reference them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this um, Christmas guide. Uh, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Of course, I will see you all and talk to you all before Christmas. But as this is a Christmas guide, I'm just going to uh, leave off by saying Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays to you all. Thank you very much, guys. As you'll see you again very, very soon. <laughs>